and welcome to Let's Build the Boo Battens Carriage, part one. So as you've gathered today, we're going to make a start on the Boo Battens Carriage. This is the, we think is an all girls school, it might not be, we're not entirely certain. We only see the girls in the fourth movie, but um, it's from the other school from the Triwizard Tournament. <laughs> um, the girls in blue. So I don't actually know if it's an all girls school or not, you know. We don't see any girls. Any boys, but we don't see any girls on the other side on Dermstrang either. Anyway, never mind. I'm rambling. Right, so yeah. We're gonna go over to Hagrid's because that's roughly where the carriage is kept. Um so this carriage is gonna be quite large because it fits a giant inside. Um so, also, this carriage is completely Centaur's baby. Centaur has created this from start to finish. I have had no input in this one, so it's all Centaur. Um, now, I have not left enough space for it. I was going to put it here, but that means I've got to cut down all the trees. Because I've put too many in. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Won't take as long. Let's see, where are we? Number 37. So if we go to 52, uh, fill, minus 15, minus 1. With air. Uh, as long as we stay on level 52, it should be good. Because this is where I wanted to put it. <coughs> so, it doesn't matter so much with my forest, because my forest is incomplete on this one anyway. The forest is on my main build. So, as I was saying, this is completely Centaur's baby. So, we are going to do this the same way we did the dragon. We're going to go in nice and slow. There's going to be lots of pauses in there. Especially so, because I am not familiar with how this was built in any way, shape or form. Um, what we do have is a copy of it on my world. I've got a couple of copies of it and I've essentially dissected one. So I've got a good idea where to start, but I'm going to have to keep checking my numbers on a regular basis. Excuse me, why am I not working? Come on, there we go. Yeah, so we're just going to have to keep checking our figures on a regular basis. So, but all credit should go to Centaur for this one. Right, I estimate two to three parts. It may take more. The dragon certainly took me more than I thought it would. Um, I estimate two to three I and mean, we'll see how we go. Okay, so for our equipment, equipment, yeah, we want everything and the site. And the site. So we want the and the site blocks. Not the smooth, the normal. We want andesite stairs, andesite wall, and andesite slabs. I'm not actually sure about the slabs, but everything in there that I can see is andesite. So I think we'll stick with that. Uh, we'll have it in there just in case we do come across a slab or two. Okay, we're going to want some blue stained glass panes. Light blue or blue? Light blue or blue? Light blue or blue? Where's my controller gone? Light blue, blue. Okay, so we want blue. We're also going to want some dark oak fence. We're going to want uh, ba -ba 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 note blocks. 
Those are new. We've not used those before. I don't think we have. We're also going to want some observers. And... What else? What else? There's something else we need and I've forgotten what it is. Lodestone. Lodestone. There we go. And that should do us for today. There will be more bits that's needed, especially when we get to the interior, but I very much doubt we're going to get to that today. So... My little one is being extra loud today, so I do apologise if you can't hear me correctly, but it can't be helped, I'm afraid. Um, okay, right, let's make a start. So, it all depends on how much space you've got here, how much land you've spawned in, how big you've made your forest, how far close you've brought your forest in. Your carriage does not have to go here. It can go wherever you want. Um... It could go there at the other side of Hagrid's and you probably are squeezing it in. But you could always spawn loads more land in at the back there and fit it there easily enough. Yeah, see that all that's on the same level, so we just didn't spawn it in properly. But we could easily spawn in lots more land there and put it there. In fact, if you did that there, you could put the carriage and then the horses in front. But I'm going to put it here. And I'm probably going to separate the horses from the carriage. Um, we'll see how far we get. Where should we put the carriage? We're going to put the carriage this way. So it's got our carriage is going to be over here, but it's going to face that way. So the horses, if we can get it in the front, will be over there. We want it over here. That way it's easy access for the students to get out the carriage and up the path and into Hogwarts. Okay, so we're going to start off with andesite block. I'm going to come over here a little bit. Okay, and we're going to come five blocks up. One, two, three, four, five. Delete four. So that's our starting point. We're going to stay over in this corner so we've got all our space to work with. Okay, so this is eight. 19 blocks by 42 so we're going to go 19 wide so we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 19 and we're going to go 42 in that direction so we've got 1 2 3 4 5 10 let's just put markers in 12, 13, 14, 20, 31, 32, 33, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. I double check this. You now, as we say, count twice, cut once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Twenty nine. Wait, 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 wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. 2, Okay, so you should all know by now that my counting skills are absolute poop. But we get there in the end. And that's what's important. We're going to square that off, cut the excess off there, and we're going to fill it all in. Cut off our markers, they're no longer needed. Mm -hmm. 
and fill it in with andesite. Whoops. Okay, so remember this is going to be our front, that's going to be the back. What we are going to do is we're just going to cut the corner off each one. Okay, and we're going to do the wheels first, I think. So this is the front section. Okay, I just need to get into the right place to figure out where the wheel starts. Okay, so we've got... So that, I think, is hard to see now because I've got that much wool everywhere. Okay, so we don't cut the corners off the front, just the back. getting confused already so it's one two three four on the fifth block and there's four okay so here we go on the fifth block down the side one two three four five we're gonna put four observers Same in all the corners. One, two, three, four, five, four. Okay, so we've got corners cut off here. So let me just double check that these are in the same place. I think this corner's cut off. Where am I getting the cut off corners? Ah, I see, yes. It's just the back. So we've got one, two, three on the fourth block. So that's a good job we checked. Hold the phone, hold the phone. What's going on? Am I on the right level? No. There's another level. Wait a minute, that's just wall. Okay, I see. Right, one, two, that's eight. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Ah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go nine. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna undo these. Dum, 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 dum. Undo these. Okay, we're going to go back to our andesite block and we're going to put nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it should 
all be symmetrical. So what we do on one side gets replicated on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to come five blocks in. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. So it's one block higher than it was. Two, three, and four. Five, one, two, three, four. So this side, we're going to come going to come up a block and then in three. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place a block that and then one, two, three, four. We're going to get rid of those because that's a later thing. If I jump ahead now I will confuse myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do the same over here. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the wrong way around. Two, three, four. Oops. Okay. So that way we're not going to get confused because it's easily done with me as you all know by now. Okay, so we're going to stick to the wheels for the time being. Okay, so... Uh, uh, oops. Oops. Right. Fence. You're going to have to press shift or crouch. One, two, three, and four. One, two, Three and four. One, two, three, and four. So we should be four out from all sides of it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Do the same on the others. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put no blocks. One, two, and three, four. This is where we're going to get a wee bit fiddly because we're going to have to. One. Two. 
čo? Wait, too many. Two on either side. Put one on the fence and then one on either side. And then you should be able to put two at a diagonal. I remember to press shift. I'm just tapping it as we go. And then two, then out one. And same again on the rest. One and two. Oops. Come on. There we go. Something's not right over there. What's not right over there? That and that and that. Well, fives, not sixes. There we go. It's better. Two down, two to go. Oh, I've not put the fences in. Okay, I strongly suspect this build is going to take me longer than I thought. <laughs> horrible feeling we're already halfway through this or we will be by the time we finish the wheels hey 
maybe four to five. Okay, I've deleted the wrong one there. Ah, oh, I made a mess of that one, didn't I? And the fence. Okay, so whilst recording this, I have gotten up to see to my little one and I have managed to accidentally knock out the sound, which I have discovered upon editing. Um, so we're going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of this one. It shouldn't be too tricky though because I, from what I remember, it's fairly straightforward now. I think. Well, we shall see. So we are just finishing off this last wheel here with the note blocks and with the fences and this is the final wheel I think. And voila, all four wheels are done and they look good. Ok, 
Okay, so it's just a time check. We're halfway through. And I think now we start building up the front wall. It's a carriage, so there's four sides, the front, the back and the two sides. So we're going to start building up the front wall now. Both sides are symmetrical, so if you do something on one side, you do it on the other side. They are symmetrical. Okay, here we want a space of two, and then we're going to place three. One, two, three. Same on the other side, space of two and then place three. We're then going to bring it in another three and then another three, I think. Yep. And then that first one comes up. And then we go out. And then up. And then back in, I think. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. There you go, two ends. Okay, so we're gonna get our andesite stairs and we're gonna place five. One, two, three, four, five. On both sides in the center block two, three, four, five. In the center, one of those three. Five blocks. Five. We are now gonna place another five across the end of the five we just put. So it looks a bit like a T with stairs. It is a little tricky to see because it's all andesite, so it's all blending in. Um, but that's kind of the point. You want it to blend in a little. Put a block on each end of each side. Okay, so now we're going to put 12 andesite walls at each end. So 12 there, and then 12 on the other side. So remember, it's symmetrical. What we do on one side happens on the other side. Twelve. And then a row of blocks. And next to that okay so we're going to put two blocks on top one two and one two we're then going to have a little think and then we're going to use the andesite slabs when she's had a little thing. Okay, andesite slabs on the bottom half of the end block, like so. Okay, so I'm only going to voice over what I think 
needs voicing over. Um, so if it's not obvious what I'm doing, I'll talk you guys through it. If it's completely obvious what I'm doing, I probably won't. Okay, so we're going to bring these center blocks down six. So these bits come down six blocks. And then you cap it off at the bottom with a slab. Okay, so I do apologise for the amount of pauses there are in this one. Um, as I said at the beginning, this is not my build, therefore I am not familiar with any of it really. So I am having to check all the time with the main build to see what exactly goes where and how many. I just didn't realise there are quite so many pauses until I've come to edit. Um, but it can't be helped I'm afraid. I need to check my facts and figures. We don't want to get it wrong. Wall down the middle there. From the slab to the stairs.
Okay, so we want each of the stairs to come out here a total of 11 blocks. So that we've already got two there, so we're going to add nine onto what we've got, which will then make 11. So there's already two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right here, we're going to go stair, stair, wall. So upside down stairs, back to front, bottoms up, backs out, then a wall, then two more stairs, and then a block. Wall and block. So stair, stair, wall. Stair, stair, wall, stair, stair, wall, block. Same on this side. Stair, stair, wall, stair, stair, wall. <coughs> stair, stair, wall, then block.
Okay, so we're bringing these walls all the way down to the bottom like so. Now I do actually make a tiny mistake on this side. I do correct it later, um, but it's one block too low. It needs to go one block higher. So when I can bring this all the way down eventually, there we go. Where she's put that block, where I've put that block, it needs to go one block higher. I do it on this side and then realize that the two are different and, and that's where I made a boo-boo. But I correct it. This is where I'm figuring out that the sides are, that it's a little bit different and I've made a bit of a mistake and I'm trying to figure it out. So I think it's just the other side is one block lower than it needs to be. Maybe this side too. There we go, see? Bring it all one block up. Same on the other side, one block up. Stairs in between these. As you can see, I'm quite a bit shaky. Uh, I think my toddler is trying to climb on me at this point, if I remember correctly, or he was. Okay, so we pretty much leave it there now. There's no more work to be done on this today because we are approaching the hour, uh, maybe slightly under because I have tried to cut out some of the bigger pauses. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I hate doing these voiceovers. Hopefully we won't have this mistake again because it makes me feel like I don't know what I'm doing and that I'm guessing when an act a lot of work goes into these. I'm not guessing, I do know what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully we won't have this issue again. On Monday is Christmas Day. So I hope all of you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And we shall still see you on Friday. There will be another tutorial on Friday as normal. We are also now doing streams where we are building Azkaban in survival. The next one of that will be on Wednesday. Uh, so it's in between Christmas and New Year. Uh, so Wednesday, 7 o'clock UK time. That's the next one of building Azkaban in survival. 
Um, there are links in the description for our Discord server, Potter's Nights. Come join that for any updates on the survival series, any updates on here. If you have any questions, ask here or on the server and one of us is always about to answer. Um, there are also links to other tutorial series such as Hogwarts and the Quidditch pitch. Um, it, it's getting too many to list so it's there's quite a few of them there now. Um, there is also a link to Cash App and PayPal should anybody wish to leave a tip. It is always very much appreciated and thank you very much from the both of us. Um, and that's it from me for today. So until next time guys, take care of yourselves. Like and subscribe. Merry Christmas.